Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This uh, first expression will become root. We can write the denominator of this x 1. And we take LCM of 1 and x. LCM of 1 and x is x. So this will become x squared minus 1 plus this will become root we can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM of 1 and x LCM of 1 and x is x so this will become x minus 1 is equal to this can be written as a root x minus 1 divided by x whole squared. So this will become root x squared minus 1 divided by root x plus this will become root x minus 1 divided by root x is equal to this will become root x minus 1 whole squared divided by root x whole squared. But this one is same as 1 squared. So, this will become root x plus 1 times x minus 1 divided by root x plus this remains same root x minus 1 divided by root x is equal to this root x minus 1 whole squared can be written as a root x minus 1 times root x minus 1 divided by this can be written as a root x times root x. If we multiply both sides of this equation by root x, this implies that root x plus 1 times x minus 1 plus root x minus 1 is equal to root x minus 1 times root x minus 1 divided by root x. Now, this uh, first term can be written as a uh, root x plus 1 times uh, root x minus 1 plus this root x minus 1. Move this term to the left hand side this will become negative root x minus 1 times uh, root x minus 1 divided by root x is equal to 0. Now, we can factor out this uh, root x minus 1. So, root x minus 1 as common factor in back left from here we are left with this uh, root x plus 1 plus uh, 1 from here and minus root x minus 1 over root x from here is equal to 0 and from here by using the 0 product rule either this expression root x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression root x plus 1 plus 1 minus root x minus 1 over root x is equal to 0. 
from this equation if we square both sides this implies that uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 this is the first value of x this is the first solution of uh, this equation now from this equation we move with this term to the right hand side this will become root x plus 1 plus 1 is equal to root x minus 1 over root x and from here we take square of both sides so by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared this will become root x plus 1 whole squared plus 2 times root x plus 1 times 1 plus 1 squared or 1 is equal to this square will be considered with this square root and with this square root and at right hand side we are left with the x minus 1 over x and this square will be considered with this square root here we are left with the x plus 1 plus 2 times this expression times 1 will become 2 times root x plus 1 plus this 1 is equal to x minus 1 over x x x plus this one plus this one will become 2 plus 2 times root x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 over x if we multiply both sides of this equation by x this implies that x squared plus 2 times x plus 2 times x times root x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 move these two terms x and negative 1 to the left hand side this will become x squared first we write this expression plus 2 times x times root x plus 1 then we write this 2x plus 2 times x this x will become negative x and this 1 will become positive 1 is equal to 0 next x squared plus 2 times x times root x plus 1 2x minus x will become plus x plus this 1 is equal to 0 next x squared plus 2 times x times root x plus 1 plus this x plus 1 can be written as a root x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 0 and this is a perfect square so this will become x plus root x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 0 and if we take square root of both sides this implies that x plus uh, root x plus 1 is equal to 0 move this x to the right hand side this will become root x plus 1 is equal to negative x Now this expression at left hand side must be greater than 0. Due to this negative sign this right hand side right hand side can only be greater than 0 if x is less than 0. Now we continue by squaring both sides this will become root x plus 1 squared is equal to negative x squared this square will be cancelled out with the square root and at left hand side we are left with x plus 1 is equal to this will become x squared 
move with these two terms to the right hand side this will become x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative b is negative 1 plus minus root b squared will become negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to this will become positive 1 plus minus root this uh, negative 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 will become 5 divided by 2 from here we get uh, two values of x x is equal to 1 plus uh, root 5 over 2 and x is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 now, as we discussed earlier that uh, x must be less than 0. So, this value 1 plus root 5 over 2 is uh, greater than 0, this will be rejected. And this is uh, less than 0, so this is the second solution of uh, this equation 1 minus root 5 over 2. And uh, first we found that uh, x1 is equal to first we found this solution x is equal to 1. First we found that x is equal to 1. So, we have two solutions for this equation 1 and 1 minus root 5 over 2.